up YouTube, so today I'm going to be telling you guys some of the cheat codes which you can find in Skyrim. Um, it's just a list of I think, or I think are the best ones and also some ends that you might need if you're uh, in the storyline and you don't and you don't really know what to do. Um, I made a new account for this because I don't really like doing, s I mean a single player game, but if you're bored and you want to have a mess around you can play with these things or you can find new things, I mean this is all good. So. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the ones I think are the best so far. Um, so this is only works on PC, it doesn't work on, on Xbox or PS3 because uh, well, you can't really enter codes can you? So on the left hand side of the number one you'll be able to see this little key which has three symbols on it um, and from this as you see I've just been trying these out. Uh, this is where you can basically put in your um, codes. So the first one we got is TGM. I'll have a list in the description of all of them. Which basically toggles God mode. Toggle T and God mode. So basically, you're kind of beautiful now and no one can kill you. So no one can hurt you. I think you got, you got unlimited stamina. Okay, and the next one is for whether you're wanting to find new places or anything. So it's basically T F. C, which basically means you're able to fly anywhere. Which basically means you're able to fly anywhere, up in the sky, uh, find all these secret things that you can probably find around the map, which the Bethesda put around the map. Um, but you can't like fly on top of a mountain and then stop and then go back into it because it goes back to where you normally were. There. Okay, and the next one I have to wait for night for uh, is basically where you can unlock anything. So you click on that sign, you click on a door, whichever door can be a door or a chest, and you basically just write simple, you just write unlock. And now that door should be unlocked. Okay, and the next one is basically as you can see on my person I've got like no spells, pretty much nothing. So the next one you could use to get all the spells in the game. And this includes get air spells that they were that they were testing with before they gave the game out. So you can play around with them. P so the code is P S B. So four hundred and thirty four spells, seventy five shouts and eighty word words. So to my character, so now if I I'm gonna look at them. There's some that are like they've got no names because they're just using and then so if I was just gonna go into say destruction here's all these different spells that they have, there's every single spell in the game, I mean you can just play around with these, these are more to play around with because it's really no point to cheat in a so there's fireball test as you can see there where uh, they, the game that they used see, that was, that was, that's not what the animation is in the real game okay in the next level, next one <laughs> is basically for levels, I've got the wrong way around uh, so basically there's two of them where it's dot player dot adv level where you can advance level or you can just player dot set level I'll show you set level because it's so much easier than the other one where you can basically make your level of your person and just set it to whatever you want so I'll say 70 and this doesn't really give you perks or anything but say you want to uh, you want to be able to wear something then it's uh, for a level then this, is a, this gives you a so see now I'm at level 70 and I was like level 20 before. The next one that we have here is player P L A Y E R dot add item. And then I'll put a link down in the description but there's a whole list of um item codes which you can have for a uh, uh, which you can add because they all, each item has their own code and then after that you put their specific amount so say I was going to want to get uh, dragon armor it will be 0 0 0 13966 and then I say how many I want so I want 50 50 dragon plate armor added oops yep so I have my dragon plate armor and I'm wearing it I'm wearing it. just made dark health Oh, no, no word. Um. Anyway, and then the next one is a uh, player. 
same one player dot add item and then for money so you can get a limited amount of money it's no 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 so that's seven notes and then f and how many you want just go as many as you want i've now got that much money Ugh, i don't know what is in all the money in it's in all i guess Maybe somewhere. Oh, it's not there. Okay, so I have got that money though. And yeah, I think and so there's seven notes for an F. I'll put a list down in the description of all of them. Now we go on to the actual. Sure thing. Um, now we've got to the quite interesting ones uh, where you actually change things in a game. So you've got your first one here, which is kill. Pretty self-explanatory. Explanatory. However you say. It. So it's just click on the person you want to do, and just write kill, and watch them suffer. Well, he didn't actually suffer, did he? I wish he was on like torture. Um, and then you've got kill all. Well, I'm not gonna do because there's not that many. I just killed that white one guard. I wanna kill her for. You'll be able to see in a second. Uh, basically, any hostiles in your area that you're just attacking you, you can do kill all, and I'll kill them all. Um, so, and then you've got resurrect, which I can show on this lovely man here, where you click on your person, resurrect, and watch them come back to life. You don't know him. Um, and then. The most interesting one for some of you out there, click on the person, presumably your wife, remove all items and enjoy. Okay, here is the secret ones, I guess. Or basically it's you here's the one to go to the lair of all of the developers secret place where they had all the items which uh while they were making the game. And all the secret items, like all the masks of the seven guys. So it's COC, which is the basically the code to go somewhere. And then after that, you can type in anywhere. So you can type in White Run, and you travel to White Run. Although for White Run, it seems that it, for me anyway, it travels a bit outside White Run. If it teleports, yeah, like White Run's there, and I'm standing here. I don't really know what that's about, but you're going to have to look up the name for it because some names don't really work. I guess they've got different names. Uh, so basically you go COC, and then QA, Smoke. And it's basically the secret room. In the middle of nowhere, with every single thing in the game. It's not a big game, not that big a room I mean. Seeing as it has every single thing. So you've got things like all books, all enchanted armor. I do stress that if you're going to open enchanted armor or armor or things like that you need a pretty strong computer because it does have a massive list so I'll just look at old keys because I don't think they've got that many keys but it's got every single key in the game and to get out of here you can just do something like um, COC COC uh, Riverwood let's say so you're not stuck in there um, and then we'll see that when you come back to Riverwood, you're at Riverwood, and you're actually near it, unlike Whiterun. Okay, and here are a few nice ones, I guess, which are pretty fun. Uh, you've got player dot set scale, and then say 10, and when you look at yourself, you're freaking huge. And you can move really fast because, of course, you've got bigger legs. And when you jump, you jump high. So you can say if you're stuck in somewhere, although you do take damage for that, like a normal person would. Uh, and it does look like that. But if you're trying to get up a mountain somehow, you can't find a path up way up there. So there's many times where I've just changed to this size, I've jumped up, and then I'm there. So it's like another way of no clip. And it's get it gets quite annoying for me anyway. Okay, and now the next one, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Oh wait, I need to. 
So, as you can see, my person is a dark elf, male, beard, and you just basically type in sex change, and you can basically change to the opposite sex, although, wait, is that sex change? It looks pretty much the same. Are they all the same? Dark elves. She had no tits. Well, anyway, uh, you have you should have a sex change of your character. You can change sex from sex. Um, but if you have a beard or something, I think that that stays the way it is. So if you have a girl with a beard, which is pretty nasty looking, I think maybe not work with dark elves. Maybe, maybe they're all the same and they just choose whoever and free love, you know. Okay, and the next one is the best ones I would say. Oh no wait before that. Help, I think. It gives you a list of everything you can do. Although you can't really see it. But anyway, it gives you a list of all the li lines of code you're able to use. Okay, now here we go with the dangerous ones. Here are the big boys. These are the ones which you need a pretty hard computer to to cope with because or you're about to see. There are two codes here, which I've got, which basically end the game for you. You've got your first one, which is SAQ, which basically start, start all quests. Which basically, because you have to teleport, teleport around and you get items when you start new quests, it, it takes a while for your computer to cope. So you can start all quests and you can go through the quests like that. If you can't be bothered to go get every quest in the game, you can use that. Or, if you're interested to see what happens at the end of the game, what happens? You've got this four letters, which is basically your way to end the game. C, A, Q, S. Which is basically complete all quests. So you've completed every game, but, as you're about to see here, it gets a bit. It gets a bit weird, and my computer's lagging out. And I create my computer, and my computer's quite strong. But maybe if you have a computer which is, you know, I am just interested. I'm just gonna for the rest of the video. That's all of it. I'm just saying what's happening. Please subscribe. There'll be more, more guides, more everything, more Minecraft, more. I'll see what other games I can do. But I'm definitely gonna put more Skyrim. I don't think anyone's. Uh, I'm just put, get making new videos to get out there. If anyone knows any videos I can make, to um, any videos I can make which people think will find uh, amusing or will like from Skyrim or any other game or guides I can possibly give, please say so. And uh, this is going to go on for a long time. I think my last time this happened, Skyrim crashed. It was my computer. But um, I do want to say thank you. Please. Uh, like subscribe while this is happening and uh, please just give me feedback that's what I want right now I don't care about the likes and favorites actually I just want feedback to know that uh, <laughs> someone out there is someone out there wants to see more of my videos I don't want to just be throwing these out so thanks for watching and uh, all the links and all the all the codes will be in the description and I, I, I'll put up a uh, little notes of this is going to go on for ages but anyway thanks for watching and uh, peace out